Hi everyone, today we are going to study this basic modern joseki. Before we begin, let me tell you why this old joseki disappeared. Because with this joseki, for white, this shape is perfect. No aji later. But for this shape, for black, there are so many options for white to annoy black. For example, when there is this stone, why can aim at this aji or this aji? And if the board position is like this, then why can press black down here? So there are so many options for white, but black has no follow up on this side. So that's why black doesn't play here anymore. But for beginners, I recommend this joseki. This is great. Yeah, not bad. But uh, we are going to study this one today. The easiest one, if you are territorial, then you can play hane here. Then black will connect here. Then this is joseki. Yeah, this is very simple. We can see that the difference between this this joseki and the traditional one, we can see that we have this exchange. Yeah, this is good for black, right? Yeah, this is the simplest one. Or white can just connect here, but uh, we can say this is slightly good for black. What if white cuts here? Yeah, capturing this one stone is not good. If black capture this one stone, yeah, white should connect underneath, then this is painful. Yeah, black is happy with this result. Sometimes white can play here, but usually when white plays here, white has a stone here already. Then white can attack this group. That is the meaning of this move. I showed you this move and this move and this move. Let's go with this one. Yeah, this is the most popular one. We should study very hard. Yeah, um, why can connect on the top and then I can push and then play away. Yeah, when Y pushes here, um, in many cases, this means that Y is gonna play away. And then for black, this is very good. I like this move personally because this is very thick. And later, black can pincer here or pincer like this. Then black can put some pressure on this group. Or white can continue with this move. If black answers, then this exchange is good for white. So nine out of 10, if black want to answer, black should play honey, then white cuts here. Playing Atari on this side is not working because white can curl around and then black cannot block because uh, black has this weakness. So black should extend. Then white can push one more time. Yeah, this is not working as well because this is sente and this is sente. So these four stones are dead. We can see that this is a ladder. So black should extend. Then now the capturing race is good for white. Yeah, we can see that black has one, two, three, four, five, but white has one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a disaster for black. So that's why this Atari doesn't work. So black can Atari on this side. Pushing one more time is not good. You see, black played twice on the second line. Even if black plays here, yeah, this fight is good for white. Yeah, this position is not good. So after this Atari, black should push here then why can block? Yeah, answering with this move is not good because the lower side, this group is alive. Yeah, black can just push forever and then 
cover like this. If white extends, then black can take the corner and then, yeah, black can continue with this sequence. Yeah, this is good for black. So white is gonna block here, then black can cover on the side. Yeah, white pushes here and then white can leave. But before white cuts here, white can exchange this. Yeah, this is very smart. Now white can leave, and then this exchange is good for white, right? Because now this is white's turn. White can hit this place, and then white can leave in the corner. Yeah, white is playable. Yeah, this is an even result, so black can also play like this. So in this case, we can remember this exchange. Yeah. Why this is so good? Because if I cut here and if I leaves first, then later black is not gonna cut on this side. Black will cover on the center. Then yeah, this is not that big. But what if when white goes here, if black plays here? Then white can connect underneath. Yeah, white doesn't need to capture this one stone. So in this case, white can play this move with sente. Yeah, black should take care of this group. Then yeah, white played both sides. This is good for white. So let me show you one more time. White can continue with this push. And then this cut is ready. Then black should play Atari underneath. Then yeah, this is a joseki. The important thing for white is to play here first. And then white can capture this one stone. And then yeah, white can hit here. This is a vital point. And then white can go here. Yeah, I'm showing the simplest sequence. Of course, uh, if you are a fighter you can play like this yeah but uh, you can take the corner yeah this is good enough for white when white pushes here black can play away yeah this is not necessary actually if black plays away then white can continue with this hane yeah and then this is so big because otherwise white can descend here, this is sente. So if black cuts, then white can play away. Yeah, we studied this move. What about this? Yeah, white can pull through sometimes. Then black cuts here and captures the corner. Yeah, and then white attacks here. According to the board position, black can connect here immediately. Or black can just play away and then white can capture these two stones, something like this. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, let me show you this variation. Before AI, we used to push here. Then this is the joseki. Yeah. But these days, this diagonal is more popular. But let me show you what happens if white pushes here. Yeah, this is the only move. This is the vital point. Then I can jump here and then extend. Yeah, black can jump here, but this is more intense. Yeah, this is um, normal variation, but um, black can play like this. This is more powerful. Then white will attach underneath. Then black is gonna block. Now black can play like this. Yeah, this is not working. You see, this is Atari. White is gonna die here. So locally, white can think about this Atari. White can Atari here first. And then this is not working, right? This is dead. So for black, black should take this one stone first. And then white can go here. Because if white covers, then this is working. Yeah, now black has 
the way out so I should connect here and then we can see that um, this is heavy but before white does this white can attach here yeah this is a very good timing this is our first intuition but this sick change is so bad for black because black should fix this weakness otherwise this is so big and then due to this exchange white has a stone here now this is working yeah this is gonna be dead so that's why this satyr is not allowed so black should descend then now i can pull through yeah we can see that this sick change is nice yeah let me show you if white plays here first after all this sick change later when white attaches here black is not gonna descend black will atari so that's why in this situation this attachment is so smart this is a brilliant idea then black should um, descend then now I can go with this sequence then after this I can come back here yeah this is a bit painful but I can endure with this move yeah white is alive so this is an even result yeah it's a bit complicated so we can remember in this case um, black can cover here then white cannot cut with this move because this is sente right so why should attach and why should aim at this cutting point but this is not working immediately so white exchanges this yeah this is a very good timing and then since this is not working white can start from this satari yeah and then white can pull through yeah both players are playable yeah this sequence but these days this move is not that popular yeah and if you are not familiar with this crazy variation then you can just answer with this jump yeah no problem yeah i can play like this yeah this is um more powerful and black can play this intense move as well then yeah we can see this joseki yeah let me show you this one yeah this is more popular these days then black can jump here and then this is the vital point the um, bamboo joint place and then black can exchange this and then play hane here yeah black should extend here this is very important if black jumps here this is so painful yeah later why can do something like this yeah this is not good this is painful so that's why this is the vital point you should go here then now I can jump here yeah I can go here or here yeah jump is uh, more common then this is good this is a very good place this is the vital point and then A and B are me I so if I place on the lower side with this move black can go here yeah this is a very good place so yeah black can settle down on the left side so if white goes here then this is the follow-up yeah white can fix this weakness then black can jump then white can press black down here then yeah this is joseki white is perfect yeah white can play away yeah the lower side white group is alive because the important fact here is this is sente because uh, white can honey here then white can connect underneath so this is sente 
black should uh, enter the corner like this. So with this exchange, white is perfect on the lower side. Yeah. Yeah, this is important in this joseki. Yeah, the fact that this is sente towards the corner. Yeah, let me show you one more time. If white plays this diagonal, black can jump. This is the vital point. After this exchange, black can make one eye shape here. Then this is the vital point. This is very important. White can jump. Then after this, A and B are me eye for black. Yeah, if it goes here, this is very good. You should remember uh, this point. Yeah, C10. Yeah, this is very good. If white goes here, then black can hit this point. Then white should answer. Then we can expect this sequence. Yeah, this is one of the Josekis. All right, we covered all the variations. Yeah, this is a bit difficult, but you can remember uh, this Atari is not working. After this Atari, black can push, then white can save these two stones. And this is a brilliant exchange. And we studied this Joseki. Yeah, black can take the corner and white can get the outside. Yeah, if black connects, then white can play this diagonal. All right, in order to remember all the Josekis I showed you today, um, you can put this variation on the board and you can try to remember. And the best thing is you can use this in your own game. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.